Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, it's OJ, and we've got some juicy balance changes coming up. The cannon cart is having a complete rework. It's receiving a 17% damage nerf, but a 10% range buff. It's now the same range as the wizard with 5.5 tiles, but it'll also be receiving a 17% buff in hit speed, going from 1.2 seconds to 1, and a 1.5% buff in shield hit points. The range, damage, and health in both cart and cannon will now be completely equal in stats to keep it consistent and easier to understand. The overall DPS is almost exactly the same. The major difference being its new range and attack speed. The cannon will also be getting a bit of a buff, 32% buff in damage, but a 25% nerf in attack speed. Overall, the DPS goes from 158 up to 167. It'll still stop the hog and do a little more damage to bigger tanks, but it will have more trouble with swarmies, fast moving troops, and need to rely on more help from the prince's towers. This will kind of impact 2.6 decks versus graveyard when the cannon is used as defense. It's subtle, but it's a difference. The giant snowball ain't giant no more. It's getting a radius nerf from 3 to 2.5 tiles. You'll have to be a bit more accurate when aiming the snowball now on things like lava pups and the minion horde. Inferno Tower is getting a big 25% lifetime nerf. This will make it much more vulnerable to spells like Zap and Lightning as it needs time to recharge. This also makes it harder to cycle back to it again. The Goblin Cage is getting a huge buff with a 25% huge lifetimer and a plus 25% damage buff for the Brawler. This will help against all major tanks. The Cage itself will stop the Giant now. It will not get a shot in Prince's Tower anymore. He's basically a faster attacking Night Witch who has more health. There will also be a whole melee range rework. Sometimes you don't know why a Valkyrie hits the Rascal Boy before he even gets a swing. It's all now simplified now. There's going to be three categories of melee ranges. Short, medium, and long. Simple, right? Not really. The long range melee units will have a 1.6 tile reach. The Mega Minion's reach will be nerfed from 2 tiles to 1.6 tiles. The Mega Minion will now only get one hit on the tower left ignored compared to the two hits before the range nerf. Another slightly relevant interaction is that this will make sticking to a balloon more difficult, especially if it's ranged or if your mega minion gets snowballed. Minions will also follow the range nerf from 2 tiles to 1.6 tiles. This will indirectly buff units like the baby dragon. They'll have to be slightly closer to him now. And since the minions have a smaller range, it just makes sense with geometry. They basically clump up nicely for any range unit to splashy splash them nice and neat. That which is going to have a slight nerf from 1.65 tiles to 1.6 tiles is a very insignificant change, but a nice one to simplify ranges in the game. The Prince will feel this change. He currently has a 1.85 tile range, but will be reduced to 1.6 tiles. This means units like the P.E.K.K.A. can get a little closer before getting to the Prince, and ranged units will have a little more room for error. Those times where you think the Prince can't possibly connect, and then he just connects anyways. It's ridiculous. It's going to happen slightly less now. Medium range units will all go to 1.2 tiles. The Dark Prince and Goblin Giant are getting a slight nerf from 1.25 tiles to 1.2 tiles. The Dark Prince specifically will feel this range nerf as it affects a splash including his weird 360 charge. Elite Barbarians and Knight are both getting a slight buff from a 1 tile range to 1.2 tile range. Is that really a buff? E-Barbs did get buffed though, technically on paper. And the Knight is receiving some nice love finally, even if only 0.2 tiles. The Miner's range is going from 1.3 tiles to 1.2 tiles, which isn't a big deal since he can pop up anywhere on the arena. He actually had a lot of range. If you've ever planted a Miner 1 tile from the Prince's Tower, he has... Reach! Mini P.E.K.K.A is getting a nice range buff from 1.05 tiles to 1.2 tiles. This will help it compete against other tank killers in the meta like the Lumberjack. Valkyrie is getting a range buff as well. This includes her radius. She's going from 1 tile to 1.2 tiles. This will make denying center planted goblin barrels a little easier to counter. Before, you'd have to hover your Valkyrie behind the tower just to listen to the goblin barrel. This new change allows you more time to react and gives you a chance to completely stop the goblin barrel from behind. Short ranged melee troops are 0.8 tiles and under. The Rascal Boys will have a range shortened from 1 tile to 0.8 tiles. This will have a little change in interactions as the main source of damage came from girls and boys. I do like how Supercell is simplifying the game a bit more, every balance to keep everything consistent. Overall, with all the balance changes, 
I see the biggest indirect buff to air archetypes like the loon cycle. Other than the changes to the minions and mega minion, nothing else really got nerfed. The snowball is going to be a bit of a different impact too. Also with addition of the new fisherman, he only attacks ground so it will be interesting to see what will happen to the current meta. I don't know, it's hard to kind of predict this kind of stuff. What do you guys think about the balance? What archetypes do you think are going to be better or worse? Let me know in the comments down below, but in the meantime, let's play some decks to check out the new balance changes in the dev build. Let's see how we do in this deck, but here's the catch. We're in the dev build. So, we're going to be playing Fisherman's Catch. Oh yeah! With really wacky decks. Okay, so I've got Cannon Cart, because I want that Fisherman in the center. Come on, come on. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want a Snowball that maybe... No, I don't, I don't know. I think I, think I, I got it. That Mega Minion is dealing a lot of damage while well, it's making me uncomfortable. And none of them attacks air! The Mega Minion literally kills the Hunter. I mean, Fisherman. Oh my frick. I do not want him doing that. That was a really ridiculous defense. Okay, we're gonna Snowball that. Goblin Brawler's dealing a lot. He's, he's so fast and oh my gosh, how much damage does he do? Prince is gonna get stopped. Oh yeah, my goodness. Why is my other me so good? That was really perfect timing on that fisherman. Oh my goodness. I'm getting wrecked here. Okay, well, I've got Goblin Cage going for me, which is always nice. And the hunter or the fisherman. Okay, the hunter used to have the hook mechanic too, so that's why I keep calling him the hunter. But the fisherman doesn't attack air, so we've got that going for us. At least I can counter it with my minions. I'm gonna put my mega minion in the back. Maybe I will, you know, do something nice and hook the brawler. <laughs> Hooking it did nothing. Come on, Mega Minion. Mega Minion. Die, Mega Minion. Oh my goodness, those flawless hooks! This P.E.K.K.A. This P.E.K.K.A.'s trouble! Uh, oh my, got the Hunter. Fisherman. Fisherman. <laughs> um, Goblin Barrel, it has a... Slight change too, I didn't mention this earlier, but it's not going to impact like the edge anymore, if that makes sense. It's it, I, I'm really bad at explaining what I'm trying to play the game at the same time. I'm trying to I'm trying to win this right now, but the the edges, it's a it's a little thinner. It's not gonna ghost and overclip things anymore, so it's it's a, it's a slight nerf. It's a very slight nerf. I really wish I had a spell right now. That mini Pekka got a slight change. It got a bit of a boost. It's it's a bit wider. I don't like it. Oh my goodness. Hey, I, I defended that? Holy smokes. How, how is this game going on with the ridiculous amount of cards that we both have? We're, we're both literally playing balance decks. This could, anything could happen. There's so much on the line. This, this goblin cage. I just wanna block stuff. Why did I put that goblin brawler cage in the very back? I wanted to predict the minor, that's why. So let's see if we can stop him. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> goblin brawler, do your thing. Just, just take it. Just take it. I'm gonna let it connect. It's gonna deal 800 damage left ignored, and that's fine. Well, actually, the Mega Minion hit it once. That's that's cool. Not as bad. Not as bad. Goblin Brawler absorbs everything. Let's see if I can... Nope, I don't need to hook that. Okay. Uh, no one's getting through! <laughs> oh my frick, it, it, it hooked the, the Mini P.E.K.K.A.? I don't think it wants to do that. There's so much on the map, but none of us is getting through because our balance cards are so wacky. The miners' range was, got nerfed just, just a little bit, so... He, he still feels the same. You, you can put him anywhere on the map. It's like, whatever. He's still gonna do his thing. Goblin Brawler, that guy's so threatening. He's actually really threatening. Like, I'm having a really hard time getting through the Goblin Brawler. And the Fisherman hooks the Prince! Holy moly! 
Yeah, hook my Dark Prince. Do it. I'm gonna hook your mini Pekka. Not on purpose though, because I. Oh. Oh. I think my cannon cart loses that. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. He hooked the cannon cart? That was weird. He hooked it, but the, the, the cannon cart didn't travel all the way across. Interesting. We're actually not getting through. There's nothing we can do. Nope. Nope. Prince is going to get the Fisherman in the center, maybe. Let's stop the Dark Prince of the Dark Prince. And then I'm going to hook in the Dark Prince there. Oh, beautiful. And then look, look, check this out, check this out. Perfect defense. Not really perfect, but it kind of stopped it. No, no, no. No! Uh, no! No! So, what did I learn from that battle by playing against myself? The biggest things is that Prince, Dark Prince, Minion, Mega Minion, Mini Pekka, they all really felt the same. Like, you know that the numbers change, but they still felt the same. So that's the coolest thing about these things, is that interactions don't really change. Except for the Mega Minion, obviously, that hits a tower. The craziest thing is seeing the Fisherman in real time just hooking the Princes and stopping them completely. It didn't even matter if they were charged, just cancels everything out, stops them from connecting the tower. That one time the, the prince almost connected to the tower and the fisherman hooked him. Same thing with the dark prince at the end. The fisherman hooked the dark prince from behind past the prince's tower. That stopped it completely. That's a really cool interaction, but there's gonna be a lot more cool interactions in the tech video coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for more quality OJ.